I saw an article in the paper, newspaper, about a lady uh, who added up the program before so. us, uh, and uh, she was looking for volunteers. So we came, and we worked here for about a year, and then, uh, how do I say it? Uh, <laughs> came in one day and said, uh, uh, the job's all yours. <laughs> and that's the way we, my wife and I wound up uh, in charge of the food pantry. We should have expected that it would happen because the people who were running it before us were kind of getting us involved in all the different aspects, the ordering and the keeping track of the clients and the food and uh, all the different things. So when we came back from our vacation and they had quit, we just fell right into it. I, I <clears throat> share uh, information. We were here, <laughs> and they weren't. <laughs> just we can only get one. Okay. We only have so many. Okay. Okay. Sorry, but that's all right. Never, re never regretted it. No. <laughs> we both we're both retired and. Uh, it gives us a way to give back to the community. Don't you start with me. We always do. Okay, for me, I need one more choice. I need two of these. It's a mutual support operation. And, and we couldn't do it without all of our volunteers. That's for certain. And three points down here. That's two. We have fresh blueberries. Peaches. <laughs> we're married almost 60 years, so we're accustomed to working together. And this is a fun project. It is. It's a... Uh, we, uh, we sometimes scratch our head about what do we do next and how do we go about doing it and where's the next dollar coming from, but we managed to work it around and uh, I managed to make it happen, which is, uh, which is fine with me, in fact, both of us. <laughs>